my beautiful Sagittarius gang. What's happening? What's crack a -lack? And what's poppin', baby? It's your boy, Afrikaanser Moon's Tarot, and I'm coming at you guys with your May 2021 reading. I hope you guys are well. And if so, let me know down in the comments down below. As always, these readings are general, so if they resonate, that's awesome. And if not, it's not your message. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok, you're more than welcome to. All that information is going to be linked down in the description box down below. So welcome into May, guys. I hope you guys have been doing well. And let's take a look and see what we got going on. Messages for Saggy. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Throughout May 2021. What do we got coming in here for Team Sagittarius, please? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Throughout May 2021. All right, guys, you're coming through pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and get one more shuffle. And we'll take a look here and see what we got going on, man. Hopefully, we got some pretty fantastic stuff. Sagittarius. Overall energy that's showing up is the death card. Now we do have Pluto in retrograde. So of course, with this Plutonic energy, we do have the death and the rebirth coming into our lives. So it is a time of change and transformation. Uh, you may be called to do something differently. So this could be a time of changing your career, changing up your relationships, changing up your friendships. You know, it could be a time for change in different areas of your life, depending on where this Pluto energy is kind of hitting in your chart. Okay, especially which house is hitting in your chart. Uh, so keep that in mind. Looking at at your current energy we do got the two of wands person you're dealing with we do have here the strength card and then looking at the outcome that's present we do have here the magician so i definitely see you guys in an area of your life where you don't necessarily know which path to take for you okay the two of wands is an energy of i'm not sure if i should go here i'm not sure if i should go there now looking at the person you're connecting with they're showing up as a strength card i kind of feel like somebody is saying to you I will make this decision easier for you. I'm going to back off. So someone backs off from you, Sagittarius, moving in May, and it kind of leads you to a path of, okay, well, I guess I can't go anywhere else but forward. Looking at the outcome that's present, we have here the Magician. Little do you know, this person backing off is about to lead you to a path that you never expected to be a part of, okay? Interesting channeling, at least what my guides are trying to say to me, so. I kind of feel like Sag, for example, or probably this is what will resonate to most of you. You were involved with somebody romantically, right? And they wanted to have something with you. You wanted to have something with them. But I think that they were in such a different place in their life to where they couldn't commit for a relationship. So because this person couldn't commit to you and because they couldn't see a future or create a vision with you, they're like, I'm just gonna back off. I'm just gonna leave you alone. I'm just going to let you be free. So no longer is there a two of wands, there's only an ace left, which means that you can only go forward without this person. So somebody's getting removed from your path here. I think that they're just in a different place in their life and they're not willing to commit right now. They're not willing to create a future with you or work together with you. And when that happens, it's gonna guide you to somewhere new. But I feel like with this magician card, it's gonna be something you've never expected, but it's something you've always wanted. So you're being guided somewhere pretty darn good. Let's take a look here at the strength card though. Let's just clarify that for a moment. Why did this person back off? And what do we got? We got here the Eight of Pentacles, different places in their life right now. They may be really focused on their work. Uh, for some of you, you could have been connecting with a workaholic. And of course, King of Cups, they were in a different place with what they wanted. I feel like love was definitely something that was not their priority. Seven of Pentacles, something keeps coming up about money. So maybe this person was very career oriented, very goal oriented when it came towards their finances and their money. I definitely think that for them, love was just not the focus. We're getting all the Pentacles here. So they were putting their time into different things. So whoever this person is, you know, granted, they had a vibe with you, Sagittarius. Granted, they had some sort of connection with you. They weren't ready to settle down. They weren't ready to commit to you. So they're like, I'll make this easy. I'll back off. I'll let you go. Now, what is this future that Sagittarius is walking towards? Let's clarify the magician. What is it, this unexpected path that they're stepping into? We got a whole lineup of cards here. Holy crap. Uh, we got here the temperance, which is Sagittarius. So temperance to the hangman card. So when this person first backs off from you, you're going to feel a little stuck. Okay. You're like, well, all right, they don't want this with me. That fucking sucks. Uh, I don't know where I'm going or what's happening moving forward. So you feel a little stuck. But over time, 
you're gonna realize, okay, I can't be stuck forever. This person doesn't wanna be together with me. I have to move on. I have to take control of my life. And then we have here the star card and the four of pentacles. Something's gonna hit you like a bag of bricks. I think what's gonna hit you like a bag of bricks, Sagittarius, is something that you buried away for a long time. This seems to me like a dream that you never chased or a thing that you wanted to experience and never experienced. Remember guys, it's a general reading, so I don't know everything personally, but you know, it feels to me like something is gonna be unlocked within you that you haven't done in a long time and you're gonna be ready to pursue it here moving into May, 2020. So something's falling into alignment with you, whereas it wasn't meant for you in the past, but now it's divinely timed and it's coming in for you. So for example, if there is some sort of business that you tried to make in the past and it didn't work out, maybe you're getting this second go around where divine timing comes to play and this business you recreate and your whole new image starts to pop off, it starts to grow, it starts to flourish. Maybe there's some sort of career path you wanted that didn't work out in the past, but now you're really stepping into alignment with it, okay? So something you've always wanted to fall into alignment with you is gonna fall into alignment with you here in May. So just be very mindful of that. It definitely seems like some sort of dream here or wish here is coming true. So Saggies, I want you guys just to be aware of that. There is no reason that, um, or it's not that there's no reason, there's a reason why this person backed off from you. Um, it is for something else to step into alignment with you. You know, this is divine timing at play, okay? Uh, let's try to get more information into what is stepping into alignment with Sag. If we can get some more information about that, about what's stepping into alignment with Sag throughout May, 2021 here. We have here the Knight of Pentacles. We have here the Eight of Swords. We have here the Ten of Wands. And lastly, we have here the King of Swords. So whatever is stepping into alignment with you, it definitely feels to me like this was something that you feel like you failed at. So for example, let's say like in the past, you went to art school and you graduated from art school and you wanted to become an artist and open up your studio. Maybe you had the thought or the idea to open up the studio, but no matter what you tried to do, you couldn't get a approval to own the studio or to rent it, right? So you gave up on that dream and it caused you a lot of stress and it caused you a lot of anger. And you were like, well, I guess I gotta give up on my dream because this never worked out. Well, now here comes an opportunity window where things are working out for you to get that art studio. And you'll be more determined than ever to be able to get it done because you are in the right place at the right time to make that art studio happen. You see what I'm saying? So that's just an example, but that's what I'm seeing here coming through for you guys as a whole. So keep it general. It's whatever it personally resonates to you, but there is gonna be a window of opportunity, of opportunity to do something that you've wanted to do for quite a long time. So divine timing is at play. Now for another group of you Sagittariuses, this could be about a connection where it wasn't the right time for you to be with a specific person. So it might resonate this way as well. So let's say the person you're dealing with now backs off from you and says, I'm not in the right place right now to commit. I need to go do me, I'm letting you go. There is an opportunity for some of you Saggies of somebody from your past to reappear into your life that it didn't work out in the past, but now there is a window of opportunity for that connection to grow and flourish, for that connection to work now. So there could be a romantic relationship of your past resurfacing, where it is divinely time for the two of you to be together and for things to work out perfectly, okay? So it could be either one of those things, or it could even be both of those things that are stepping forward to you in May, 2021, okay? Uh, what other information do we have regarding Sagittarius in May, 2021? I feel like every reading I've done for May so far has been a freestyle reading. Uh, none of these have been in like my regular reading format. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a look though. What other energies do we got coming through for Sag throughout May? We have here the Six of Wands, definitely success, which I'm super happy to see. We have the Nine of Pentacles, radiating confidence. And we have here the World card. A whole new type of world is going to appear right in front of you. So Six of Wands to the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, Sagittarius is, you're gonna be very successful with this window of opportunity that comes towards you, okay? Whether if it's a dream you never pursued, but you're now pursuing, it's gonna work out. If it's a relationship from your past that didn't work out previously, but is here now, it's gonna work out, okay? Whatever comes up, 
whatever missed opportunity you had in the past that's resurfacing, divine timing is going to make sure that it works out in your favor. You will confidently succeed in whatever it is that you've wanted, and it is going to open up and create a brand new world for you, okay? So I want you guys to know that. I really like it, man. Um, in regards to the person Sag was dealing with, uh, how are things playing out for them? We have here the King of Wands, we have here the Knight of Wands, and then we have here the Ten of Cups. Looking at the person you're dealing with, Sag, how things are playing out for them is that it still seems to me like they're very focused on what they were emotionally invested into. Uh, like I said, I really feel like you were connecting with a workaholic or somebody who was super invested in their type of work or in their career or their goals. Uh, they're still going to be very emotionally invested in that and still continuing to chase after whatever success they're looking for. So as far as the path between you and the first person I was reading, I don't see it realigning. I see this person cycling out of your life for good and they're going to continue focusing on their own personal life, okay? So yeah, this was meant to happen though. This person here kind of triggered something within you to come back around to you so that, you know, divine timing could kind of work out and divine timing could be at play, all right? Interesting. I really feel like there's no other messages to really discuss for you guys moving forward in this, but we'll see. Is there any other messages for Saggy? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me one sec, y'all. Throughout May 2021. Is there any other messages for Saggy, please? Moving throughout May 2021. We have here the Justice card. So balance will be restored in your life. We have here the Five of Cups. And we have here the Eight of Cups. Honestly, any sort of grief or sadness that you were um, invested in as well definitely seems to be dissipating. You know, Sagittarius, when this person walks away from you at first, it sucks because you were like, damn, I really thought we had a path. I really thought that things were going to work out. But then you're going to realize, oh, shit, it was a blessing in disguise that this person walked out of my life because everything that was divinely supposed to step in really came in for me. So this is awesome, guys. Um, you know, for some of you, too, you know, I talked about how maybe you're going to pursue a dream that you wanted to pursue in the past and it never worked out. For others of you, maybe it's going to be a relationship coming back that works out. Uh, this it, this could even be that, you know, the person you're dealing with triggered something within you uh, that's new and fresh. You know, maybe you're going to come into alignment with a career you never expected to have, but is totally awesome, you know? Maybe some of you Sagittariuses are gonna get your heart broken and then you're gonna find tarot and you're gonna become the next tarot reader on YouTube, you know? You may even step into that kind of path. I mean, that's my path at least. I feel like that's a lot of tarot readers' paths. I remember that I got heartbroken and then I found out about tarot and I was like, oh, okay, this is cool. That reading resonated hard. Let's go try this and check it out. And then for three years now, here I am, you know? So for some of y'all, that could be the path you're stepping into as well. Um, there is another Another message coming through that some of you guys can be stepping into a spirituality path so you could be getting more spiritually enlightened more spiritually awakened uh, so for some of you guys that can be coming through as well so just keep that in mind uh, with this individual cycling out of your life it can trigger you to become more spiritually in tune um, and definitely to get more invested in what your spirituality is okay uh, so closing off this reading for Sagittarius what's gonna be the outcome of their month for May Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, May 2021. And what do we have here? We have the Moon card. Expect the unexpected is really what I see for you. You know, the Moon card is something that holds a lot of secrets. And when the Moon does tend to illuminate, a lot of things are revealed. So really expect the unexpected. I definitely feel this energy of things being revealed to you um, and divine timing at play and just seeing how perfectly the universe operates and how perfectly things tend to work out for you, especially when you kind of allow the universe to, you know, take control. Remember, in the beginning of the video, you pulled the two of wands. With this person walking out of your path, you only had one, one wand left, which was the ace of wands. So there is a new beginning here, locked in and guaranteed for you, but I think it's a new beginning that's going to be a life that you're genuinely in love with, a life that you're genuinely happy with, okay? So say goodbye to stress, say goodbye to having to work on that stress, okay? I definitely feel a lot of good clarity, a lot of good energy coming in for you, Sagittarius, and at the end of the day, it's all going to be with this new beginning stepping on in forward for you, okay? Beautiful stuff, man.
So Saggies, you know, when it doesn't work out with this person, it might stress you out at first. You might be like, well, fuck, that was a waste of time, but it was a blessing in disguise. It's going to set and activate a path for you where you're going to be so much more happier and you're really going to see divine timing play out. You know, whether this is you reactivating a dream of yours that you never pursued and this time it's going successfully, whether it's about you getting triggered into you doing something new that you really enjoy and is really fulfilling or whether it brings back a past relationship that didn't work out but is now divinely timed to work out whatever the case is divine timing is at play things are really working out for you here and it looks absolutely stunning okay that's all i could say man this is a stunning fucking reading okay so sagittarius i love you guys so much thank you for watching if it resonates let me know down in the comments down below, remember that tarot readings here are general, so it may resonate, it may not. This also has the potential to resonate at a different time because readings are timeless. So if it doesn't resonate now, it could resonate next month, the month after that, whatever, right? So uh, yeah, let me know down below, guys. I love you all so much. Enjoy your May, and I'll catch you guys in your next video. Much love, Saggy, and have yourselves a good one. Peace.